All right, guys, time has come. We are finally here. I have my wine kit out that we got from Amazon. Um, we are gonna go ahead and start that recipe that I've been talking about. I went ahead and disinfected our bucket and any utensils I think we're going to need. I disinfected all of them so we can go ahead and get started with the recipe. We're gonna add a little bit of chemicals in and water and we will start mixing that up and then add our fruit. Sugar here, I have a oh. measuring cup. For one gallon of wine, we're gonna have to do four and a half cups. You're not gonna make a Picasso overnight on your first time, right? So it's okay to mess up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. I only have like a little bit of sugar in here. It's like another half a cup. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in because my Picasso is brand new and I wanna see what happens when we add more sugar. So I went ahead and just literally put two pounds to the gallon. All right guys, so I have my acid blend here. I have my one teaspoon. This is what we're gonna add to it. Acid blend, I believe helps to kind of break down everything to help you get that as much flavor as possible out of your wine because you're using fruits. So we're gonna go ahead, open this up and add our one teaspoon. So here's our one teaspoon, dropping it in the bucket. Okay guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of yeast nutrient. We're gonna do the same thing, add one teaspoon. All right guys, next up I'm gonna add a little bit of tannin. For the tannin, we only need one fourth a teaspoon. And ready to go, gonna add my tannin. Hey guys, last but not least, we're gonna need a Candon tablet. And we actually need to crush the tablet. You only need one tablet. Tablet is crushed, we're gonna add it in. All right, so we have all of our dry ingredients in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and we're gonna start mixing this up. Mixing it up. So I just got maybe the water down to here. I just want everything to be dissolved before we add our fruit. So I'm gonna drink and stir. Okay right, guys, so this is my mixture so far. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's looking a little brown, but that's okay. I went ahead and bought like frozen bag of strawberries, but the strawberries is only like three pounds in the bag. Usually you need about three and a half pounds. So what I thought I would do, I've used these old grapes that I've kept in the fridge. They're already starting to kind of rot away. This will help with the tannin process and give us a little bit more flavor as well. Go ahead, take our strawberries and put them into the bag. They are thawed out. All right guys, I have my strawberries in here. I'm just gonna add a couple grapes just to grow. Hey guys, I added just a little bit of grapes in here, mixed in with my strawberry. I'm actually gonna use our hammer. Uh, I don't know if you can see our mixture or not, but we're just going to mash our lovely mixture here, get it all ready in our brew bag. So just take your time, make sure you're getting everything nice and mashed. All right guys, I have smashed until I can't smash anymore. I'm just going to show it up. We've got ourselves a nice pulp going on here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is just add more of that water. So now that we have everything in here, I'm just going to stir it again. It's really important that you have everything mixed together very, very well. Everything in here, um, all I'm going to do is put our disinfected lid on top. I'm not going to put any of the yeast or peptic enzyme in this today. We're going to wait for tomorrow to put our peptic enzyme inside. Uh, that way we could create a nice environment for our yeast to live because we want our yeast to thrive to make alcohol. So I'm not really sure if it matters at this point yet or not, but I went ahead, filled our carboid to the fill line. You're gonna put it on top of your bucket. I'm just gonna let this sit overnight for 24 hours and we'll go ahead and put our yeast in. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Back to our wine making. Uh, we let this sit for 24 hours. Um, something that happened that I forgot to tell you guys is yesterday, I needed a little bit more sugar in mine because I want the alcohol volume to be a little bit more higher. So I went ahead and put one more pound. So half the bag of extra granulated sugar and I mixed it up. And we are on our next step here. Open this bucket up. We are going to stir it around quite a bit, uh, mash it just a little bit more. And before we do all of that, I'm going to use our barometer. We're gonna try to measure our alcohol level too because we forgot to do that yesterday. Um, but I mean, I, I did measure mine, but I didn't do it on film. Uh, yesterday it was about 1.100, which is saying it's going to start out around 13% alcohol volume. So that's a good 
place to start, I guess, right? Um, I don't know about you, but like I said, I want my alcohol to be a little bit more stronger. The more alcohol, the more sugar you add, the more alcohol content you're gonna have. I'm just gonna give you a close up of what everything looks like. So this is what it is looking like right now. It smells amazing. Before we do anything, is I'm just gonna mash it one more good time, give it a nice stir while we put our peptic enzyme in there and then our yeast nutrient, and then we'll be closing it up and watching it ferment and see what happens. So before I get any further, I'm just gonna go ahead and do our barometer really quick. I did mash it. Um, what you do is you put this end down first, and this is gonna bob. Wherever it hits the line is how you know about where you're at with your alcohol. And the further process that we get along with this, I'll show you guys. Um, what we're going to do next with that number, but we need to make sure we write it down so we can find out what our ending alcohol percentage is going to be. So this thing came with kind of like a beaker for our barometer. If you stick it in the bucket, it's not deep enough that it can bob properly. So I just filled our beaker up. I put it in. So it's still reading the same amount, one and 100. I'll try and show you really quick. Now we're just going to put in our peptic enzyme. The enzyme, it says that you need two teaspoons, so that's what we're going to be using today. What is Sprinkle this in. That was two teaspoons. A spoon here. I'm just going to mix that peptic enzyme in. Let it do what it's got to do. Make sure everything's just nice and stirred and mixed together very well. Hey guys, so the main event is here. I have our yeast and this kit did come with yeast, but I did my research and I wanted to have a stronger yeast for a better wine and a strong alcohol content. And I found this one, it's called the Lalvin. Um, I got it off of Amazon. So it's, it's supposed to make like a pretty good high percentage of alcohol. So we're gonna use this today. There's one whole packet, you would use this for a five gallon bucket, but because we're only doing one bucket, you know, you don't have to do the math, and instead of using all the quarters, we're only going to use one quarter of this. So, that's what we're going to do now. And that is what I'm going to sprinkle in. So, that was it. We're just going to seal our bucket back up, put our carboid on, let it do its thing. Um, I think in a couple days it's going to start bubbling and whatnot, and we will see what our next steps are going to be. Got my lid on here, got my carboy filled with water to the fill line. This is ready to do its thing. We're going to put it in a nice dark area to let these yeasty beasties uh, come to life. And soon, I think in a couple days, two to three days, we should start to see some bubbling here. Oh, or no, that was my hand. I thought it was already releasing gas. Okay. Soon right here, we should see some bubbling coming out as it's starting to release carbon dioxide. Okay. So this is how we know that we did everything right, is this is just gonna start bubbling. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. And this will probably be in another step of a video. I'm gonna go ahead and post this.